Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pete from Empower Mac bringing you a tutorial on how to create a ringtone in GarageBand for free using any music you have in your iTunes library. Not just for iPhone either. These ringtones can be used for any phone that you can customize ringtones. What I'm going to do is launch GarageBand and by default GarageBand opens up to this Grand Piano project and what we want to do is get rid of that even though you could build it here. Let's close this window and I'll just use the close shortcut right up here and then when we do that the open dialog box pops up and here in the left column we have uh, some various projects available we're going to choose iPhone ringtone and then we can just leave it on example ringtone and click choose I don't bother changing anything here since it's just a ringtone I'm not too worried about tempo signature key and all that I'll just click create and by default Apple plugs in this demo track called Jingles. Right, pretty cool if, if you want that to be your ringtone, but I'm going to delete that out of there. Make sure it's highlighted and I can use the keyboard shortcut which is command delete or go under the track menu and say delete track. Also by default GarageBand when you choose a ringtone project has the track info panel open and we don't need that just yet so I'm gonna go down to the cluster of icons in the lower right corner and switch over to my media browser I'm gonna click on that and that plugs me right into my media browser where I have access to audio photos and movies obviously we're creating a ringtone so I'm gonna stick with audio and within the audio I have lots of different choices and your entire iTunes music library is available here in this panel and if I want to search for a particular song I can just use the search box down below and click inside the search box and we'll go with the song called Fireflies cool to preview a song I just double click it and make sure that's the right one sounds good let's make it into a ringtone so I'm going to grab that and drag it, drop it right into the GarageBand timeline. So for the iTunes store to charge you $1.29 for a ringtone is a good deal if you don't have access to GarageBand or, or you don't have the time or energy to create your own. But us Mac users, right, we're like the Navy SEALs, the computer geeks. We got the tools we need to do the job. Let's get in and do it. So leave the buck twenty-nine to Windows users and we'll just get in here to GarageBand and create a ringtone. So when I drag the song up to the GarageBand timeline, you see it represented here by this audio waveform. Got my track. And then if I use the space bar on my keyboard, we see the playhead moving from the left to the right playing the song. Cool, so far so good. Now what we have to do is decide on what part of the song we would like to be the ringtone. So the ringtone for an iPhone allows you 30 seconds of music. And that 30 seconds can be any region of the song you like. So while we're working on deciding which part of the song we want to be our ringtone, we're going to turn off the cycle regions option, which by default on a ringtone is turned on. And the indicator that it's turned on is this yellow bar we see up here in the timeline. That yellow bar indicates that the cycle region is turned on. We're going to need that. It's important. But while we're playing with the song and trying to figure out which part we want for our ringtone, we're going to turn it off. To do that, you just head down to the bottom here in this little icon cluster and you deselect the cycle region to off. See the blue light went out and the yellow strip is gone. Now we can drag the playhead anywhere in the song, click the space bar. You would not believe your eyes if 10 cool. And we can play with this playhead move it anywhere in the song and use the space bar to sample it. Cool, I think I'm going to start my ringtone right here. Let's check that sound out. You would not believe your eye. Cool, and then we can take 30 seconds of the song starting from there and expand it out. So what I'm going to do is turn my cycle regions back on, get my little yellow band back. There it is and I can take that yellow band and move it. I can drag it out to the right or left. I'm going to drop it right where I wanted the beginning of my ringtone, which was right about here. Looks good. See, I can stretch or contract that right to about there. 
Maybe a little bit more. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million firefly. Cool. So now I'm going to grab that region that's represented by the yellow bar and move it out to the right. Now I can listen to the track. And decide where I want to cut the ringtone out. Probably right after the chorus part here. I'm going to extend that region out just a little bit more. And I'm going to stop it right before the song resumes. Now my ringtone starts very abruptly. I'd like to have a nice fade in to my ringtone instead of having it just start. So to add some ramping here for the volume to go from zero to normal volume, I'm going to go over to the track controls and just use the little disclosure triangle, the down triangle, and that allows me to create ramps for my volume in a new subtrack right beneath my music track. So if I go to the beginning of my ringtone, which is the beginning of the region here, and I decide I want that to ramp up, I'm going to click right on this line that represents the volume level, and then click again in a little further and pull the first line down to create a ramp. Cool, now the volume is going to start at the beginning of my selected region at zero. And then it's going to ramp up to regular volume. Let's hit the space bar and see how that sounds. You would not believe your eye. Cool, if I wanted a more gradual ramp, I could just pull that point to the right. Or a less gradual ramp, I could pull that point to the left. And then I'm going to head out to the end of my region click on the volume ramp twice to make a nice little ramp here and then have that fade out perfect now obviously there's a lot more work you could do on this ringtone you could get the regions more precise or pick out just certain parts that you want or if you wanted your ringtone to be multiple songs, then you could drag multiple songs into your timeline and cut them up. I'm just going to leave it like this. Pretty crude, but I just wanted to give you the idea. So now to get this into your iTunes library as a ringtone, you can just pull down the Share menu and say Send Ringtone to iTunes. Once that ringtone hits your iTunes library, then it'll sync just like the rest of your ringtones. Now we're going to get a little warning box that pops up. And you see here it gives us a warning saying your iPhone ringtone length needs to be adjusted. And the reason for that is that my region, my yellow bar, is too long. It's got to be less than 40 seconds and I've got it more than 40 seconds. So to change the length manually we can just hit cancel and go back and change it ourselves. But to adjust it automatically using GarageBand we just click adjust. So let me zoom out and click adjust and watch the bar will shrink a little bit to represent 40 seconds instead of the 43 I have now. There you see it took a little bit off. Now we're at the right length. However, my volume control is in the wrong spot. So let me zoom in here a little bit and I can grab my point and move it back. Out point, move it back here a little bit. Cool, now that might not be your favorite part of the song. Remember, you can grab your region and move it to any part of the song you want, make it any length you want, and make ramps up and down anywhere you want. Cool, now I'm just going to say share, send ringtone to iTunes. It's going to create my mix down, convert it, send it over to my iTunes library, and if I go to my ringtones, so just like any other song in iTunes, I can click on it and change it to Fireflies. And the artist can be Owl City. Cool, now it's in my ringtones. When I sync my iPhone, that'll be one of the available ringtones. Hey, this is Pete from Empower Mac. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and throw me a five-star rating if you like the tutorial. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see out there. And we look forward to the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.